Surely it's one of those uh, miracles. She is small in stature, but she's a giant in education. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. Everything revolves around the student. Thank you, Ms. Diaz. Good job. I realized that I wanted to be a teacher when I was almost four years old. You need to tie your laces on. We don't need an accident. I was raised in Guyana. And in a socialist country, which Guyana is, you don't apply for a scholarship. You are observed and you don't even know that you are. And that's how I was offered a scholarship. U of A has been that shoulder that I needed at a critical time of my life. Because one of the things I didn't know that the government did was um, when you, we went, you left on a government scholarship, your family did not go with you. And my family is everything to me. And so I had to leave three young children behind me. And she was going through very tough times. Uh, she was almost uh, at a point of emotional breakdown. I actually started packing up one day, right at the beginning of my PhD, uh, to go home. I said, you have seen uh, bad times all your life. And the only way to pull yourself out of those bad times is if you complete the program. It was a very, very um, emotional time for me. But I got through those degrees because other people lifted me up on their shoulders. What I've done is try to lead, uh, keeping some of the same qualities that people showed me at the U University of Alberta, meaning you pay attention to human beings. You have all your trophies? Yes. <laughs> Are they big enough? Yes. Yeah. When I came to Barnard Elementary, only 11% of children were able to manifest mastery of the curriculum. The setting was nothing but chaos. There's a gentleman across the street who's making his coffee one day, and he just heard his front door slam, and the next thing you know, there were students running through his home, and a teacher is chasing to get this child. And on that first day, I decided school is not happening that way. I'm not running behind the child. At this time, we now have approximately 70% of, of our students performing at the proficient level. And I have no, no doubt at all whatsoever or any kind of hesitation as to why our school performed at the very top in Washington, D.C. this year. Everybody okay? Yes. All right, all right, all right. To be able to touch someone's life beyond academics, you know, that's it.